Welcome to Horse Racing Gamer, where champions are made. Hey guys, it's Eric. Just a quick reminder to smash the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any time. Leave your comments as well, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, because 64% of you at the moment, for some reason, aren't subs. So make sure you hit that button. Without further ado, though, let's get into today's video. Oh, YouTube. What's going on? It's Horse Racing Gamer here. I have some updates for you guys in regards to this game, my file, the whole thing. Now, you know my biggest dilemma has been the fact that we haven't gotten a Philly in over 10 years in this game, right? Well, after I recorded the last episode, I promise you I spent over two hours basically going through, like, fast-forwarding years in the game, trying at least 12 different breeding combinations uh, to see if we could get a filly. Now, there is one good thing to know <laughs> before I get to the bad news. Um, we're going to get some really fast horses from the parents that I've been retiring back here. I mean... I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but some of the horses we're going to get from some of these parents are going to be blistering fast, so really excited about that. But again, back to the main point. So I did 12 different breedings, or I did 12 different breeding combinations. Out of those 12, guess what? We did get a filly, but I only got one filly. That means the other 11 were colts. Uh, which really means that um, this game, my game isn't glitch, which I'm glad. That was the main thing. I wanted to see if my game was glitched to the point where, like, I couldn't get fillies at all. That's not true. I did get a filly. And it was... It was a filly from Vivid Legend and Catch This Gal. The one broodmare I've been wanting to use for the longest and I have not used. Um, but when I tried them again, later, I got a cult, obviously, and that's still randomized. So, I still want to maybe give them a shot, but it's like, do I really want a horse from Vivid Legend and Catch This Gal? Not right off the bat. But yeah, 12 different breeding combinations and only one time resulted in a filly. That's insane. It's like, the Tecmo have a thing against fillies in this game? Because for one, you look in the shop, there's not a whole lot of great ones. Favorite Wish is the best filly here. Um, and there's none in the special category. You know what I mean? I, I think the, the part of... Whichever part of Tecmo designed this game compared to the 2004 game, clearly a couple people on the staff may have had a thing against the Phillies because it's outrageous that um, out of 12 different breeding combinations, I only got a Philly one time. So to start off today's episode, um, another side note, Frugal Lark can't even use it for breeding this year. She won't be able to be retired until July. So with that being said... Um, I guess I'm going to try running her on the dirt. Just to see if we can maybe... or keep, I, I don't know. I have no idea what I want to do with Frugal. Uh, and Paracosm, he's still good enough to challenge for the GWS dirt. It's going to be tough this year. And I did fast forward to see we're still going to have tough competition for the dirt. Again, for the third year in a row. So, I'll see how it's looking for Paracosm. But if it's not going to be doable for us to win it... I'll probably just retire him uh, sometime this year. So Legends Art, he's up. And uh, not the favorite. First time, I think. But he is getting better. Um, yeah, he's getting better. I gotta admit, though, I will spoil you guys on one thing. He turns out to be decent. I think he turns out to be a, a mid-70s, pretty much for most of his stats, type of horse. And that's about it. He doesn't really get higher than that. So he's kind of like an Art of Crimson type of horse, but I think he's a lot better because, for one, his leg type is a Proceeder. Art of Crimson was a mid to closer, which didn't work with his stats and his speed. But fortunately, Legends Art um, is a Proceeder, and um, we should be able to take advantage of that. So those are the updates for Gout Racer 2003. Um, some good, bad, I guess, when it comes to the Philly thing. And again, I think I said it in the previous episodes, I just can't really get my hopes up. Um, at all. In fact, I just, I need to do breeding and just be excited for whatever horse we get, regardless of the gender, because, like, this game is not giving me fillies. For some reason, all of a sudden, like, I felt like in the beginning, all it gave us was fillies, and now it's not doing that at all. It doesn't make any sense. I wanted to get this episode recorded sooner tonight, as in... Well, this is Saturday heading into Sunday morning, but um, I was trying to uh, play my simulator. You guys know I'm into motorsports, so I was trying to play R-Factor 2. If you know what that game is, if you don't, no biggie. Uh, 
point being, my steering wheel all of a sudden, my gaming wheel, uh, decided to just not respond like as far as my turning radius was concerned. So I spent over an hour and a half trying to troubleshoot and fix it because it was working fine and then it just stopped working. So um, very irritating. It's one thing I don't like about playing simulators on the PC sometimes. Console is a lot easier. Don't have to run and run into those controller issues, but it was frustrating. I wasted an hour and a half. I could have been playing Galp Racer. You know, I could have been doing this with Legends Art. And the 12 is reeling us in and probably going to get us, to be honest with you. And that's probably the favorite. Yeah, fair play. Don't know if there's anything I differently I could have done. That horse is on a run. And Legends Art, no, honestly, he still did fine. He still did great. Finished his second. Um, yeah, I'll take it up. Most mover. I think that was the favorite. Good horse. Legends Art, though, he's been consistent. We have a consistent horse right from the beginning. That's always a good sign to me. So, I'm happy with that. And uh, we'll continue to roll on. But yeah, it's, it's been a night of frustration so far. <laughs> Granted, the Gout Racer testing I did, I that was like over a week ago. But um, still, it's frustrating to know that it's just going to be hard to get a filly in this game. Like, legitimately. And that means when I do breeding, I'm just going to have to just look forward to getting a strong horse. I can't even look at trying to get a specific gender because the game is probably not going to give me what I want. So Legends Art. His speed will hit 80. I think I wanted his speed to hit 90 and it never did. I think I did see. I don't I don't think it'll hit 90. Don't quote me. Maybe it will if he continues to do well. So um, no win. Well, two wins. He's dropped the last two, so we need to kind of get him back in to winning form here. Um, we'll try him out in a grade three. Yeah, Frugal Arc's ready to go. I just, I don't know what I want to do with her this year at all. I have no idea. Um, she's got the mild, well, she's got four titles, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she's got Mile Champ, Record Breaker, and the GWS Sprint and Turf. Technically speaking... I definitely need to get her the dirt. That would make her the best horse we've had in this game so far, which is kind of wild. Well, possibly. No, I forgot. Uh, Social Brandy won a crap ton of titles. I think she'd be the best broodmare, or the best mare, excuse me, we've had in this game, for sure. Um, she'll be the best of the gals. Like, better than Honeybee, Perfect Art, all of that, but... Still. Um... I should try to go for a sprinting title, but I don't know if that's going to be asking her for too much. Um, Like, there's no sense to keep... Like, the only thing I need to do with Paracosm is to run him in the GWS dirt. I don't even need to run him in these normal dirt races anymore because he's already got the title for it. So I'm going to try Frugal in the February S for the first time. See if we can get her a win on Zidet. And uh, that's what we got going. So yeah. Oh man, it's just uh, it's just it's really crazy. Just that <laughs> I, I took time to figure out if I could get a filling if my game wasn't broke. And it's like, well, the game isn't broke, but you have like a ten percent chance of getting a filly when you do breeding. Ten percent. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, roll on. We're up here with Frugal. Bionic Club is here. Going to be tough to beat. Aqua Gang. I'm surprised I actually put a horse named Aqua Gang in this game. That's kind of funny. Eminent Chimera. Some interesting horses in this field. Noel, Angel, Soft Tap, Naked Angel, Night Falcon. Who's going to be the favorite? I'm going to say Bionic Club. No. Paracosm still. No. Noel, Angel. Okay, I lied, I lied. Well, um, it's too late. I already put Paracosm in this way. Uh, in this race. I'm not going to scratch him, so we'll go ahead and run it, see if we can win it. Paracosm, six years old is our boy, and man, he has come such a long way. He's really turned out to be an, a really awesome dirt horse, and he's exceeded my expectations. I was so worried about him in the beginning, but from Crimson Art out of Big Monster, he has been an awesome, awesome, awesome dirt horse, so I've been very happy. 
And the thing is, it's not like he's blistering fast, you know, or anything. He's just like he's he's strong in all the right categories. His power rating is his only downside. If he had a good power rating, we could run him on the turf. You know? So in all honesty, he's actually a really strong horse. He's just not the fastest. Like, in regards to human terms, he's like somebody that works out often. Very, very good physical shape. Can do a lot of things. You know, he, he's that type of racehorse. So, And a decent start. We'll take it. Now we got to make sure we... Uh, we're going around twice here, so... I want to move inside. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're off in the Kyoto stakes here with... Ah, crap. I thought I was clear and uh, I wasn't. Okay, I don't want to be running this, this wide. We're going to be wasting a lot of stamina doing this. So I'm going to need to overtake this nine horse. And now you're going to move in. You could have been moved in. That's what's annoying about the AI on those turns. They don't even try to move their horses in. They just keep them in the lane until they're on the straightaway. So around for the first time we go in the snowy conditions here. Paracosm sitting comfortably in fourth place. I'm going to go ahead and move to the rail. Because you guys know me. We can save ground. We're going to save ground. <laughs> Who are we looking out for? Noel Angel, I think. Okay, yeah. fine with me, man. I, I like where we're at. I like our positioning. Okay. Let's go. Work him. Let's go. It's just us and Noel Angel. Can we catch this horse? Paracosm's got a really good run here on the inside. Nah, Noel's still hanging strong up there, but Paracosm's digging in. We're going to get close race okay. Paracosm digging in. Half a furlong left to go. There it is. You gotta love that ability. He pulls away, and our boy gets another win on the dirt. Let's freaking go! He gets another win on the dirt. I love those inside trips, man. I'm really blown away about how well he has done on the dirt, man. I know I keep saying that, but... <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to be this good on the dirt. I, I thought he was going to be mediocre and we would struggle. Like, as soon as he got to a point where all of his stats were pretty much above 70, he hasn't struggled on the dirt. He's only struggled against, obviously, the, the you know, the, the tougher horses we've been up against in the GWS. But and he sets the record. There's no way. That's no revolution as well. Beating Bionic Club, Noel Angel, Sedate Knight, Knight Falcon... Wow. You gotta love it, man. You gotta love it. And that's 10th or 11th grade one win for him. He needs to get into the Hall of Fame. He needs to. I don't know how we're gonna do it, though. I don't know how we're gonna do it. Like, I can't really block the AI. Unless I try to use Frugal Lark, I could try to use her to block out some races, but I don't know how we're... You know what I mean? It just... I. I don't know how that's going to work. I think it's going to be tough to win if things aren't on our side. Now, as far as his regiment... I don't know if keeping him on balance is worth it or not. Maybe. At this point... I don't think his speed, is, his speed isn't going to get to 80. There's nothing I can do about that. So... Uh... We're going to give him a bit of a layoff here, because again, I don't need to run him in any other normal dirt races, but... You see, this is tricky. Now, can he win the Universal Cup? I don't know. Can he win the Eagle S? That's... I swear I tried him in, in both of these races off-stream after the last episode, and... I know he's much better suited for the Universal Cup, but I kind of want to try him in the Eagle S. But to be honest, this is... This is a week I'm going to probably save beforehand and reload and see which race he does better in. Because, I, again, I, we got to get him. A, we have to try to get him into the Hall of Fame this year. This is the, our last hope. So, if he doesn't get in the Hall of Fame this year, then um, he won't get in at all. Any new horses? No. Gosh, why don't they ever update? I cannot believe Ultimate Fan and Whirlwind are still here. 
Now, like I said, Whirlwind, I I've considered getting. But again, we already have so many good sires, I just don't see the point. I really don't. As great as he is, he has a fantastic power rating, but like... <sighs> we want to do breeding again this year, so we need to keep this spot open. And I'm not retiring any of these horses anytime soon. Before then, I can't, so... I just hope... Those horses go away eventually. I want new horses in the shop. You know, more girls, most importantly. Legends Art, he's up here. The grade 3, Roxy. And uh, the favorite, well, second favorite behind Fresh Light. That's a good horse. It's a very good horse. So, um, got our work cut out for us today, but we'll see how he handles it. Um, man. Almost perfect start. And we're off and racing with Legends Art. Okay, let me make sure we're not... Okay, still running kind of hard here. Just want to get him to the front, but... We're running pretty hard here. Usually if I have to run him close to full speed, that means the pace is pretty fast, so... All right. And I'm also trying to save his stamina a bit. Even though his stamina is actually pretty pretty solid for where he's at now. It's above 60, which is nice. Which means it'll hit the 70. So he'll have good stamina. Okay. May have got him going too soon. We'll see. Is that really fresh light? Wow. Look at this race. Us and fresh light absolutely destroyed the field. That's scary. Which really tells me both of us are grade one capable horses. <laughs> Holy cow. The field got absolutely annihilated. So we weren't going to be fresh light regardless. Fair play. Let me guess. Six lengths? Ten lengths was third place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know I could be putting him in grade ones yet, but I still want him to develop a little bit more, you know? So I'm cool with still running him in these opens and these grade threes. I don't I don't feel pressure to put him in a grade one yet. We will we'll get him in a couple at the end of this year, but I think as you know what? If once his speed hits eighty, I'll start putting him in grade ones. He's getting close. He is getting close. Like He's getting close, and the thing is, he's doing consistent. He's doing very well on a consistent basis. That, that to me, helps. I can't speak on it 100% to say the game put that into consideration, but at the end of the day, it's Gallup Racer, and I think the game always takes into consideration your consistency. So if you're doing well with your races and everything, I, I do think that it, it matters. So yeah, once the speed hits 80, I may try him out in a grade one. And, um, like, I don't want to run him in this grade two yet, even though I think he's probably ready for it. You know, but I, I feel like winning a grade three would be the first easier step. Like, I wonder if I can, I'm going to try running him six furlongs. I just want to see how he does, because I need to know if we can put him into, into some sprinting races once he really gets fast enough for it. Because, again, his distance is 9 to 14, which is more so a distance horse. But if he's going to have over 80 speed, he can certainly run in, cup in a few of the sprint races. That's what I'm trying to say. So now Frugal Arch. She'll be up for the first time today. Oh, look who's here. Art of Crimson, our boy. We're running against him. So that's awesome. I literally just talked him up, didn't I? Who's the favorite? Not Frugal. No, she is the favorite, because it's a wide-open field. Urban Friday, Courtly Duo, Art of Crimson. Let's go ahead and take a look at them. There's our boy. I miss him. I, I just, uh, I'm... I wish he would have turned out to be as great as... Really, Paracosm's been on the dirt. I mean, he won six grade ones, but... Yeah, he just, um... He certainly underachieved. I wanted Art of Crimson to be really special. 
And he, you know, all of our horses are special, but I mean, I wanted him to like really kind of shatter records and just never happened. The horses are on the track. All right, Frugal's up. Well, let's let's get it going. We'll work with it. I really wish this was a mechanic in 2004 where you could race against your own horses. That'd be awesome. Like, seriously, you guys, think about all of your horses you have created and have made in the Gallup Racer series, in 2004 specifically. Imagine being able to actually race against them in your season mode. You know what I mean? I just feel like the replay value would be extended even more because it's like not only are you racing the best AI horses, you're also racing against your own best horses. You know, and imagine we're going to do that here, too, with... Paracosm will be running against him and others. It's going to be insane, really. It is a little bit weird because it's kind of like bringing a horse back from retirement, but just for the competition's sake. You know? Okay. Let's go. Come on, Frugal. I know you're not a dirt horse, but you can make this work, my girl. And she's pulling away. She is pulling away. Still a little bit of company there, but uh, it's going to be another grade one win for Frugal and her first on the dirt. Let's go. Let's, 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 let's go. Eight furlongs on the dirt. Twill, take it, twill, take it, twill, take it. Yeah, that's how it's done. Apologize for that. Hopefully, I edited it out. I was trying to fix my fan. I was making weird noises, like it wanted to like turn into like a transformer or something. Anyways, frugal. She gets her first G1 win on the dirt, and that should be the first of many because we need to get our dirt champ title. Further solidify and establish her success. <sighs> Let me guess. No new horses in the shop. Well, let's skip a week first. I remind myself to save before we get to, uh, you know, the end of the month here. And why are no horses are changing in here? It just it, it's unbelievable. This game is so weird sometimes. It really is. Are oh, the Paracosm dropped a B already? Oh man, he's on the decline. Yeah, winning the GWS is going to be really hard this year. Um. I'm going to run him in that Eagle S. He's got the stamina. I just wonder if we can get a really early jump on our spurt. Will that benefit us? I don't know. Oh, bummer, bummer, bummer. Well. Yeah, it's amazing. That first year he was in the GWS when he lost by two points. I, I didn't even really think he could win it. And that was obviously his best chance to win. It's just like that. Of course, that's my luck. Legends Art. He's back up in a grade three. Best Navy is the favorite. <sighs> this is why I don't necessarily want to move him up yet. I feel like we need to be winning these races before we're ready to move up, truly. Like, I know he's capable of running in a grade two and a grade one, but again... Usually when my horse is ready to win those races, they're winning their grade threes. He still hasn't won a grade three yet. So he needs to win a grade three before I feel like he's ready to really move up. He's still developing as well. He's from Monsters Legend out of Perfect Art. He is going to peak quickly though, so... I don't really have any major goals with him. Like, I don't think he's going to become a Hall of Fame horse. We could try, but that's not, you know... Just because of his early... That's the only downside of horses with early growth types... You can only get so much done with them, you know? Now, let's see if he can hold out to finish here at the end. And he's going to actually get his first grade three win. And win by a couple of lengths. Exactly what I wanted to see from him. That has me feeling more confident we can actually move him up to a grade two now. 
And to be honest, I keep forgetting, I need to wait on his spurts. I know I'm getting started way too soon. The benefit of him being a proceeder is I can wait a little bit, and he has the speed. You know? Perfect art. She was blistering fast. Beats the favor by three lanes. That, that's a pretty big win. <laughs> we'll take it. We'll take it. We're almost 30 minutes into this episode. How? I feel like I've only raced four or five times, maybe. <sighs> okay, so what we're going to do... Because Frugal... I think I'm going to put her in the Universal Cup. I think it makes way more sense for her to run that race. And the tougher horses are going to be in this field. So, again, if I have a chance to block out some of the other horses from accumulating points against Paracosm, maybe we can still win. But the thing is, if Frugal is obviously winning these races, then <laughs> she's going to take that away. But we'll see. Paracosm, he's got to win the races, though. That was the problem last year. We didn't win enough. You know, he's got to be able to win the races for us to be in a position to actually take the GWS dirt seriously with him. But since he's on the decline, we may have missed the window. All right. Well, guys, it's the Eagle Stakes kicking off the GWS dirt. We're back again, and... Oh, look who's here. Scotch Crystal. Again. Who's the favorite? Cosmic Glory. Oh, yeah, that horse, too. How could I forget? That was the horse that beat us last year. So they put... Interesting. They're running in this race, and of course they're running in this race instead of the other one. Cosmic Glory is just too fast for us. Three-year-old filly. Ugh. This is what I mean, man. Like, we have to win these races, and <laughs> we're just against horses that are faster than us on the dirt. That, that's That's the truth. It's not me shaming my horse, it's just these horses are faster. <sighs> well, um, again, it was it, it was going to be a uphill battle to try to win the GWS on the dirt with him this year, so I'm just going to let this race ride wherever we finish, as long as it's not a terrible result, so um, that's all I can do, man. It's a good start. He's got the stamina, so I'm going to kind of let him run out here a bit. trying to get him going. It's just like, where is he? The speed just wasn't kicking in. He's got a good run here. We could catch the seven. Maybe. Ah, oh, we have a really good run. Furlong left to go, but gosh, the seven is still gapping us, man. It's a good effort from Paracosm here in the dirt. Overwhipped, but he still finishes second. That's actually a good effort. That's an incredible effort, considering we weren't going to catch... Who was that? Probably Cosmic Glory? You see, that's what I mean. Like, she's too fast, bro. She's too fast of a dirt horse for us to beat. We're supposed to finish third. We finished second. And we finished second by six. Well, we're six lengths behind Cosmic Glory. She destroyed us. It was a great race for Paracosm. Put him second in the dirt so far. But still, that's what I mean. We need to win those races, and if we don't, it's going to be hard to win. So, Frugal Arch, she's up in Universal Cup. Sedate Rulers here, that's who we were running against as well last year. So, they kind of split the best horses. They put a couple of them in that race, and then they have Sedate Ruler here, Light Gamble, Rough Monster. That's who we were struggling against as well. Beauty Value, golly. Yeah, the, <laughs> uh, Frugal probably has the better chance of maybe trying to win the title this year, but it's, it's, it's going to be an uphill battle regardless. Oh man, just can't, couldn't catch a break with Paracosm as awesome as he did, as well as he did. Every year we had 
one of the best dirt horses in this game competing against us. It's just like, we can't do anything about it, man. Paracosm had like an 85 speed rating. Different story. He tapped out at what, 76, I think, speed? 76, 77 speed. That's just not going to be enough to get you the win against the fastest horses in the game. Rough Monster still is the record from last year. I remember that. And I'm not going to really... I'm not going to pay attention to anybody else. Like, at the end of the day, Frugal needs to win. Like I said, maybe we can block these other horses. But at the end of the day, if we're going to be competing against Cosmic Glory... I don't know what we can do to keep that horse from winning, you know? Unless I were to block and race dirty. And it's like, do I want to do that? No, I... That's cheating. That's literally cheating. I don't want to cheat at the game just because I really want one of my horses to get a title. Like, I can't do that. I personally can't. Just... That's the case, I might as well cheat in every race, you know? Why, why make an exception to cheat? In all honesty, it was my fault that I didn't get Paracosm the right amount of uh, races he needed the first year that he was the closest to winning. So I just have to pay more attention going forward. Okay, so she gets grit. She's got plenty of stamina. Now, is this going to be able to hold? Is she going to be able to hold on? I don't think so. It's going to be close. I probably should have waited a little bit longer. She's still fighting strong here. Come on, Frugal. Uh, second or third on the line. Are those our silks? No, those look like our... Or no, I forgot. This is not 2004. We can't change ourselves. I think she's still got second. Yeah, okay. I mean, places for both uh, both horses. So they ruler broke Rough Monster's record. Well, so they ruler doing so they ruler things. Huh. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Because now since I'm running two horses... That may take some pressure off of Paracosm, but I don't know if it'll help him win. Let's see. So in the dirt, Cosmic Glory and Sedate Ruler are the horses to beat. And keep in mind, Rough Monster is still a problem. Cosmic Page is still there. Beauty Value. Those horses just didn't get lucky. So... This one, I mean, Paracosm, he's got to win a race. He has to. He has to win at least two. He doesn't win a race. It's, it's um, it's kind of gonna be a done deal, you know. Second cup. Um, again, I gotta run him in that because I still, I'm the main focus is still trying to get him a win. Now he has to win that race. That's the difference. He's got to win that race to have a chance. You know. Um. I can never tap into Closer because he's a Proceeder. Like, that ability is really hard when you're running on a horse that likes to be at the front. Just kind of doesn't work. Alright, Legend's Art. I think he's probably ready for a Grade 2. Or the Zelia Cup, since he's three years old and he's the only one that can run it. Um, Any new horses? No. Still the same nonsense. <sighs> okay, well. New foal has been born. This is a honeybee foal, I believe. Yeah, clearly. It's a boy. Go figure. Uh, gosh. Honeybee and who did I do? Did I do Honeybee and Mad Courage or Honeybee and Social Brandy? Oh, well, I gotta use one of the names for you guys, which means I need to open up the spreadsheets here, which should already be open, and see what we got going on. Alright, so let's see. Who. Gosh, where are my names? So unorganized. Sorry, guys. Um, Let me open up this one. Yeah, of course, a boy. Um, he's gonna be fast though, and he's got um, he's got like a mid to high sock on his um, right rear leg, and then his left front leg as well. They're kind of matching, so that's cool. 
Um, well, Sketchy, you still got to give me some new names, bro. And Hunter, uh, you're new to the community. We're going to go ahead and give you a name. Let's see. Rockin' Blonde. Uh, these were for 2004, though. Um, Toxic Blonde names, also 2004. Well, I'm just seeing what we can use from you guys. Um, well, uh, next up is actually Abigail, I believe. I have your names like listed in terms of like first, second, third, fourth, and then once we use a name, you move to the bottom of the list. That way we stay on rotation and everybody gets a chance. Um, let me see. Anybody else? I'm just... Jaden, oh, I've gotten a couple names from you. Sam. We actually don't have a lot of updated names from you guys. Um, it's a couple, but we've actually used a lot. I'm, I'm quite impressed. Okay, Abigail, we're going to go with you for today. Um, Golden Coin? Let me see, Honeybee. Is there anything with B? I'm just seeing if you have anything like that. Kissing Kings? I kind of like Kiss... Well, does that work? Kicking Up Dust, Stardance, Twin Sun. Hmm. Let's do Twin Sun. It sounds like a really generic... That sounds... I like the name. It, it does sound like kind of a Gout Racer generic name already, but you know what? Something about it is speaking to me, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Twin Sun. It's going to be the name of this cult. Man, it's breeding season, so we're going to the pasture anyways. So let's go look at the foals first. It's good to know that we actually have two. Toxic Waters, four stars all around. This is from Social Brandy and East of Pool. This will be our first super horse, more than likely. And then Twin Sun, just born from Honeybee out of Mad Courage. Should be dangerous, should be extremely fast. In fact, I did confirm this horse is going to be fast. <laughs> um, gosh, this horse is going to be so fast, man. I cannot wait. Is it me or is his, his head look a little bit longer? Or is it just because of the angle and the distance? Either way, awesome stuff. Oh, what am I doing? Breeding. Um... I don't even know what to do. Like, we've used everybody. I got Social Brandy and East to Pool. We did Mad Courage and Honeybee. We could do Mad Courage and East to Pool, but... I don't know. Should we try Mad Courage and... Try, you know what? I'm going to do something different. I'm going to try Mad Courage and catch this gal. Because, again, you see Mad Courage. He has bad feel, temper, guts, power... Catch this gal could improve those, except for the power. So we're going to get another Mad Courage fold this year. We have plenty of time to use Social Brandy long term. Or I could do Social Brandy and catch this gal. Hmm. Let me see. Our light type is Proceeder. What is Mad Courage? Is? Actually, you know what? Let me just put them side by side and see. What's the cost is only going to be 22 k So, what we can look at on here, we'll know we'll get a... We're going to get a turf horse that can run short to medium distances. Uh, leg type should be front or proceeder. So for the speed, that's going to be extremely important. I might actually stick to this, to be honest. We'll get a horse that's very fast. A horse with good staying, good braking. Stamina will be whatever, but it's going to be a sprinter. Good response. Uh, guts rating should be improved. Field temper. Everything should be improved, except for power. Which, again, we're just going to have to sacrifice anyways because we don't have any good broodmares to give us better power. Um, Abilities-wise, I mean, it's kind of hit or miss for me in this game. We could get early foot, gate rocket, closer. I, like, you know, it's... I think that's what I want to do. Who else was I going to consider? Mad Courage and anybody else? Not really. I know Mad Courage and Big Monster would probably give us an awesome horse, but I want to use Catch This Gal. So actually, let me see. What if we did Social Brandy and Catch This Gal? That'd probably be a higher cost. Only 15k! Interesting. Okay. 
And of course, Social Brandy doesn't have any double S stats. Yeah, we'd probably get just a... I mean, we would get a good horse, I'm sure, but... We would get a sustained growth type horse that would most likely be a proceeder that could run mid to long. So Social Brandy and catch this gallows for a long distance. I'm going to save that in my notes. So Social Brandy plus catch this gal equals long distance horse for sure. I'm going to stick to Mad Courage and catch this gal. Yeah, what's the most expensive we could do in here? I think East of Pole, right? Or a big monster. No, he used to pull. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do mad courage and catch this guy. No guarantee we'll get a Philly again. I don't care. I can't care until we get one finally. And um yeah. Should be like I said, a really good sprinting horse. Um that we should be able to win right out the gate with. And um you know it'd be awesome if we could get a Philly, but we'll just have to wait and see. And, uh, yeah, I forgot. We are completely booked on races. I mean, completely booked on horse slots now. Toxic Waters will be debuting next year. Um, yeah, so. Well, that's all we can do. So I've decided for the next couple of episode, I'm in, episodes, if I could speak, I'm going to keep them a bit shorter. I want to get more out to you guys. Um, and I think they do a little bit better as far as just kind of the growth the channel, so we get a couple more races in. Azalea Cup with Legends Art, uh, his first grade one test, and he's the second favorite, so we certainly have a chance to win. Utmost mover, I'm never really intimidated by that horse, so I think we have a very good chance of winning here today. Let's see what his stats are looking like. Almost at 80 speed, to me, that's fast enough to win this race. Stamina 66, not bad. Yeah, I wonder if uh, I I don't think his speed will hit 90. I don't think it will. So he's going to peak next year. His speed would have to go up 11 points from now. And I think it's unlikely that that happens, but we'll see. It's his first grade one, or second grade one, excuse me. Let's see if he can um actually get it done. So close to getting perfect starts and just not getting them. Okay, so it's actually a good start here for Legends Art. And make sure he gets to the front quickly. He loses so much stamina going uphill, and that's because of the bad power rating. That's That, to me, is the only thing... Ah, crap, my bad. Holding him back. Power rating. With a power rating in the 70s right now, I mean, he'd probably be close to undefeated for sure. Every, almost every track we've run up has, or we've ran on, has had an incline. And um, if you pay attention to his stamina bar on the left, once we run up an incline, you'll see how fast it drops. That's why I want power, man. I never understood the importance of power in this game until really recently. And when I say recently, I mean like within the last year. You know, year, year and a half. But my whole emphasis on 2004 was power and stamina. Look where we're at now. You know. Every one of our horses has above 70 stamina now, usually, most of them, and then the power rating also uh, fits. Now, I keep forgetting I can wait to get him going. He's got the speed. I kind of want to see how he runs from behind. Okay, let's go. Ah, he's so fast. I love it. Look at the drive from Legend's Art. Oh, he's going to... Wow, this is game over. Now, I told you I was going to do what I was going to do, and that was wait for his spurt. Because of that speed, <laughs> he gets his first grade one. Let's go, my boy. Let's freaking go. Our boy gets his first grade one victory from Monsters Legend out of Perfect Art. He gets it done. And, uh, yeah, I should have been starting him a lot later in those other races. We probably would have won him. Yeah, let's go, baby. He's so fast, man. He's really like Perfect Art. It's like having her back. But like, you know, it, it's been automatic from the beginning. We've been very consistent. And he gets it done. First grade one win for Legends Art. Let's freaking go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like I said, not worried about utmost mover. Never am. Never worried about that horse. Light my incense. Light. Always good for clearing the air, and it just it smells good. I like them at least. You're like, oh, you like those things? Yes, I do. It's very relaxing. I like the the smell. I don't think there's anything wrong with that now. First grade one win. So he's um. Seven for eight in terms of finishing in the top three. And he's a true third generation horse on both sides, which is fantastic. So, like I said, you look at his pedigree. He's got Crimson Art and Vivid Legend for grandfathers. And then he's got Big Monster and Perfect Partner for grandmothers. <laughs> you know? So, like, he's he comes from a very, very strong pedigree. So... Being that he won his first grade one, running him in these races are pointless because, like, he's not a dirt horse. Now, Young Mile Cup? Yeah, for sure. Let's just keep him on the path. Frugal, what to do with you? Uh, King Cup Spring, there's no point to run that. She could, she does still need the mid champ title, so I'm probably going to run her. Yeah, we'll run her in the Saint S. And, um, we can retire her in a couple of months. After July, I think we can retire her. But it all depends on what's happening in the GWS fight. Paracosm. I think if he doesn't win this race, I just need to drop him out of the championship. The horses are too good. We're not going to luck out on winning. We have to actually win a race. Now, fortunately for us, not a super competitive field here today. In fact, I'm not worried about anybody here. Not saying we're going to win, but the usual horses, they're not here. Oh, this is the turf. <laughs> I don't know what race I was thinking about. This is a turf race, not a dirt one. This is the race Frugal... Well... Putting her in this race actually would have been pointless as well because, again, she's already won the GWS for this category. But there was nothing else I could have put him in anyways. So we're just going to run him here and I guess see how he does. I mean, it would be awesome if I could try to win him a title on the turf, but he doesn't have the power for it. So it is what it is. Well, you know what? Let, let's just see how our boy handles it today. No expectations. The, he wasn't even supposed to be in this race. Complete goof up on my behalf. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I think he's still decent enough statistically to, like, finish hopefully in the top five. In fact, that still might be asking for a lot. But I'm going to say top five is, is my goal for him. We can still manage a top five finish on the turf. That says a lot. Okay. Now he's got plenty of stamina to make it till the end. Let's see how he fights. Now he's going to get close race okay if we stay tight. He's staying pretty tough in here, man. No close race. There it is. Wow, he might actually win this race. Holy cow! Paracosm on the turf! Wow. Didn't win the race. Second place. He's in... What a heck of a run, guys. I said top five. I, will, I genuinely wasn't expecting to finish close to first. We were supposed to finish 11th. We were number 11. We were supposed to finish 11, and we finished second. Suck on that. Suck on that. Competition. <laughs> could you imagine if I could win the turf with him? Because, <laughs> I mean, there's nobody else. Well, Legends Art, we may put in that. 
Well, our boy is um, second in the dirt. Or technically tied for third, but it's second. And I'm um, he's second in the turf, and he almost won that race. In fact, if I would have gotten him started sooner, knowing he could have had a chance. Wow. This horse just continues to impress. And again, having stats above the 70s, that does go a long way. I remember I saw a comment that said, oh, that's not that good. I'm like, having a horse that has all of its stats above 70, except for one category in this game, is pretty darn good. It's not super horse quality, but it's it can build you a super horse. You know what I mean? Because that means there's no bad qualities. His worst attribute is his power. You know? And he hasn't needed that on the dirt. So, um, really, 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 excuse me, impressive showing there for Paracosm. You are such a good horse, man. You have exceeded my expectations, and I love it. So, um, again, his only focus is the GWS, so I'm just going to wait till he can run again in another uh, turf race. Whenever that is, which is going to give him quite a bit of a layoff. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but I don't think we should be running him unnecessarily until he's ready to go. Diamond Cup, that's going to be a push at 12 furlongs. It's three months off. I feel like I still need to keep racing him until then, and somehow. But I can't do these, these races. That race worked because that was a track where we didn't need power. We need power for these type of races, so... Um, Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do with him, to be honest. Grade 3 in June. Caesars Cup. Don't need to run him in that again. I'm just going to save him for a grade 3 in June. Could have run him in the other races, but I just didn't feel moved to do so. Alright. Wow, that was a awesome effort, man. Seriously, like, just wanted top five. I wanted to finish in the money. This guy almost wins the race. What a horse. Frugal Arc, she's up again. Saint Stakes, ten and a half furlongs. And Patty, the lovely, beautiful Patty. <laughs> Pearl Reef's the favorite. And uh, we're just going to rock and roll and do our thing with Frugal, because who cares about favoritism when she's such a good horse? Good thing is, I I'll feel more confident running with her for the Dream Cup series. Because for one, her stats are better than... I think her stats are better than both Social Brandy and East of Pool. Like, they actually made her really strong in this game. I'm quite happy about that. Because I feel like she was a little bit nerfed in 2004. You know? But in this game, she's still very strong. Let me guess. No front runners? Oh. We'll go to the lead! Uh, Odd Chapel? Goofball? Kind of got the Jerry Berry... Jerry... Bailey Silks. If I could, I'm not speaking correctly at all tonight. Jerry Berry, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that, that, that jockey Jerry Berry. <laughs> not gonna lie though, it sounds like a jockey name, doesn't it? Jerry Berry or Berry, whatever I just said. It's not even 2 a.m. People, it's only 1:10 a.m. So I'm 50 minutes away from when I say the ridiculous things, and I've already been saying the ridiculous things. You guys should feel honored. Just having a good time. So hopefully you guys are as well. Uh, Frugal has a lot more stamina than I remember. So I need to make sure I get her going at the right time. Okay, let's go. Now let's see if she can keep this up all the way. Frugal Lark is such a good horse in this game. It doesn't even make sense. Smokes the field. Wasn't even supposed to win today. Yeah, the eight almost caught us, but you didn't. <laughs> Luther. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding and I'm kind of not kidding. Because, like, the game doesn't want to give me fillies. So, like, this is the only fun I can really have with the girls in the game. It's kind of a shame. <laughs> but I'm not mad because, I mean, Frugal Lark is one of my favorite Galbracer Phillies of uh, all time. Of course, she's a mare now, but they all start as Phillies, so yeah, she's top five. 
I thought she might actually legitimately be my favorite. I don't know if there's another Philly that I like more than her. Not saying she's the best one, but I think she's just my favorite. She sets another record. Shocker. She wins by two lengths. Shocker. Frugal Lark just doing Frugal Lark things. That's it. I mean, she got two-year-old best Philly. She's uh, five years old now. She's still kicking butt, taking names. Easy money. It's easy money with Frugal Lark, man. She is so amazing. And the fact that her stats are still like this, which is why she can't be retired yet, she hasn't even hit her peak yet. 13 grade ones for our girl. 16 wins out of 23 starts. She's finished in the top three. 21 out of her 23 times. Insane. Consistency to the max, bro. To the max. Frugal Lark. Love this girl, man. Well, there's not another GWS race for a while, and I'm going to keep working on the mid-champ titles. We're going to race from the Dublin Gold Cup, where it's a measly 3,000 Gs. I don't understand why some of those really important special races have such low prize pools. It doesn't even make sense. These races in real life have huge prize pools, huge purse. Job racers like, yeah, nah, we're going to do the complete opposite. <sighs> Anyways, Legends are He's up in the Young Mile Cup. Best Navy is probably... Oh, uh, wow. Look at <laughs> that. Look at this field. Okay. We have... Well, let's look at the, the the three horses before us. Best Navy, Blues Breeze, and Fresh Light. Either any one of those horses can be the favorite. I'm going to guess Blues Breeze. No, Fresh Light. Wow. And, like, Fresh Light's the heavy favorite by quite a margin. White Stage, can't forget that horse. Well, Mr. Legend, your speed hopefully is at 80. No. Getting closer. Let's see what you do today, my boy. And um, this will be the last, well, probably second to last race. Try to do one more after this. It's been a good episode. We've gotten a lot done. We haven't had a bad race at all today, which is awesome. <laughs> have we finished outside of the top three now I think about it? I don't think we finished worse than third today, have we? Yeah, we haven't finished worse than third this whole episode. Talk about consistency. Kramer's King with the record. That horse doesn't even pop up in the game anymore. Like, I know it's not gone, but it's just like I, Kramer's King hasn't been around for ages in this game. In my in my playthroughs, what I'm trying to say. So, like, okay. He gets out very well, actually. He gets out well. He gets out quickly. And um, we're going to go ahead and just usher him to the front. Don't bump. Got to get around this horse that wants to kind of be a nuisance. And now we're going to move over. I don't really care who the favorite is today. We're just going to run our race, right? Don't care who's the favorite. We're going to run our race and make it happen. Now we're going to wait because we have the speed. So I don't care. They can do their thing. Ah, okay. That may have actually worked out in our favor because now it sends Legends Art off like a rocket. Oh my gosh. He is so fast, man. This guy is so fast and he's only at 79. Oh, let's go. That's two for two for our boy. Two for two. Two for two. And he smokes the field. Wasn't even the favorite. That should tell you something. That should freaking tell you something. Oh, and my recording pretty much just stopped. Wow. <sighs> that hasn't happened in a long time. It just, it stopped. Wow. <laughs> I still don't know why that happens. <sighs> well, I'm assuming you guys probably missed the finish of the race, but you heard the commentary. We won. I don't, I'll probably put something in between just to keep that up, but... Oh, that's really annoying. You see the margins. We beat Blues Breeze by three and a half lengths. Fresh light. Not, nowhere to be seen. Only one today was back by five lengths. <sighs> That's annoying. But uh, Legends Art, he is really, really, really doing well so far. But early growth type. So he is supposed to be this good. 
Let's do a quick sync. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Sometimes I have to do that because, again, weird things happen with my recordings. And I guess that's going to be the last race of the episode anyways because nobody else is going to be ready for a little bit of time. Oh, that's annoying. I'm sorry you guys didn't get a chance to see that. Ah, oh, wow. Look at Paracosm. His stamina is... I mean, his stats are dropping. Speed, staying stamina, those are falling now. And Legends Art is still B-ranked for whatever reason. I think they should move my boy up to at least A. He's 3 for 3. Last 3 starts. 2 grade 1s to his name already. Good stuff. Um, but that's going to do it for this episode. Appreciate you guys having support on the channel. As always, make sure to... Uh Make sure, of course, hit that like button, I was going to say. That does help out a lot. Please leave your comments, guys. I know sometimes this game isn't as immersive as 2004 because more people play that game, and that's, like, the biggest series on the channel. But I still like to hear your feedback and where um, your head is as far as our progress in this game of 2003. So, please, you're hearing me right now. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Of course, you guys know I will always respond to you. Appreciate you for the love and support. But until next time, horse racing, we're going to sign out. I'll see you all next time. Have a great day. And goodbye. Hey guys, it's Eric. Just a quick reminder to smash the like button if you find yourself enjoying this video at any time. Leave your comments as well. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe because 64% of you at the moment for some reason aren't subs. So make sure you hit that button. Without further ado though, let's get into today's video.